God, look at me. I look dead. I have spent all day primping and primping for a change. Just so I would look absolutely beautiful and I look terrible. No, you don't. You look absolutely beautiful. I do not. And I'm not going down there looking like this. Oh, listen, Raven, it's, it's just a very important day in your life. You're excited, you're nervous. That's I'm all. not nervous. Not Why nervous. should I be I nervous? <sighs> afraid as soon as Sky sees how much I've aged, he won't marry me. Oh. No, really. I'm a little bit worried about him wanting to marry me anyway. Do you know that I tricked him into proposing by telling him that I was going to marry Derek Mallory? He did what? Yes. Turn around and look at me. I want you to take several deep breaths. Very slowly in through your nose, out through your mouth. Slowly. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. All right, and I want you to tell Geraldine to come up here, okay? Only breathe. Because I want you to tell her to cancel the wedding. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. It's okay. <laughs> Good heavens, what is wrong? Oh, no, 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 she'll be all right. It's just nerves. She'll be fine in a minute. It's not just nerves. I'm getting sick. I'm dizzy. I'm having dizzy spells. What? Well, you can't have dizzy spells in that dress. It's just been pressed. <sighs> Besides, we can't cancel now. What would I do with all those guests? We have to give them some entertainment. Well, uh, tell them it's a housewarming party. I don't know. Tell them anything. No, Raven, please. It's just that April says you're just nervous. Now, look. Here's something that will make you feel better. It's from Skylar. Oh. <laughs> what does it say? I can't read. I'm going blind. For the first day of the rest of our lives. He loves me. It's right here. Speech. I don't want to hear it. No, 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 no. I, I know that's not necessary. You got a match? Uh, yeah. I just uh, hope you've done the right thing, sir. What do you mean? Well, making me the best man. I mean, I wonder what some people might think. Who gives a damn what people think? You're getting paid, aren't you? Well, perhaps uh, you'd like some brandy? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, make it a double. Okay. Ha have one yourself. Thank you. I feel like I'm going under the ether or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, you might try deep breaths. Here you go. No, I don't need deep breaths. No, thank you. <clears throat> well, your happiness. Goodbye, ladies. Skyler. Skyler. The photographers are here. Give me one more, please. Sure. Good day, Mr. Whitney. May I offer congratulations? Thank you. Miss Ryson, do you wish me good luck as well? Oh, yes, Mr. Whitney. My congratulations, too. <laughs> well, you look lovely, like a bride yourself. Someday, perhaps. <laughs> right now, I think I should get some pictures of today's bride. Yes, let's start to work. Kathy, how lovely you look. I'm so glad you could be with us today. Thank you. Nancy, my dear, how lovely. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to have you. Thank you. Oh, Mrs. Jackson, so nice to see you again. Calvin Stone. You remember my wife, Star? I do. How do you do, Mrs. Jackson? Well, it looks like it's going to be a great day for 
lovebirds, doesn't it? Well, then it's going to be a great day for the Calvin Stoners because you two look wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. So nice to be let out of the cage. Geraldine. So nice to be in this home again. Thank you, Mike. I must say, seeing you two here together is going to be one of the highlights of this day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, hi. Cliff Nell. Uh, Geraldine, what a beautiful house. Uh, let me introduce my dear, dear friend, uh, Helen. Uh, Helen. Uh... Jordan. Oh. How do you do? How do you do, my dear? <laughs> well, how nice to see you so happy on this happy day. Oh, uh, excuse me. I'm going to go see if I can get a picture from the uh, photographer of us, all right? Uh, Valerie, uh, all work and no play makes Jill a dull girl. I am sorry, Cliff. I told you it was unavoidable. I... Well, it's okay. It's all right. See? The wrists heal. Now, stop. Did you see the pictures at least? Oh, they're fabulous, really. I never thought I could come out so handsome and distinguished. <laughs> you want an autographed copy of one? Um, well, why don't you give me one when it comes out on the cover of the magazine? Now, I'll talk to you later. Okay, sure, Val. Come over to my apartment any time. Pick it up. That's an understatement. He is so wonderful. And so generous. He uh, certainly is. Uh -huh. Yes, and I also got him a wonderful gift. I got him this antique watch that mm -hmm. has been in the family for centuries. Centuries? Well, maybe just a couple of generations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is it? Me. Oh, hi, Valerie. Come on oh, in. Oh, hey, Wonderful. Well, thank you. Oh, and that dress. Why? You are perfectly beautiful. Thank you. It is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> so are you going to take pictures? If it's convenient. Certainly. Oh, uh, your bouquet. Oh, let me go run and get that. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, tell me something, um... Valerie. Valerie. Tell me something, Valerie. Have you ever been to San Moritz? Where? San Moritz, Switzerland. Um, yes, San Moritz. I have been there. Why do you ask? The uh, little blonde on the left, that's you, isn't it? Why, yes. Yes, it is me. What a terrible picture. <laughs> and there's uh, Mr. Whitney. I don't remember anybody taking pictures that day. Is there anything else you don't remember? I don't know what you mean by that. So tell me, um, did you know Scott before San Moritz, or did you meet him there? I met him there, briefly, in a group, as you can see. I mean, if you recall, he didn't even recognize me when we came the other day. Uh-huh. And uh, who is this gentleman in front of Scott? Um, I can't remember. Oh, no, I remember him vaguely. He was a friend of Mr. Whitney's, uh, Jeff or a John or something. I, I can't recall for sure. Huh. All through, Miss Bryson. Yes, Mrs. Saxon. I think I should be going downstairs now to get some shots. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, Calvin, is uh, Gavin Wiley coming? Oh, sure. Well, Scarlett Whitney's his boss now. I don't think he'd miss it for the world. I hear he's escorting one of the beautiful young ladies from the Whitney Dance Company. Yeah. Uh, why don't we go over and say hi to Miles and Nicole? Okay, we'll talk to you later. I'll Bye. see you later. Bye-bye. There's Damien Tarlin. He's all alone. What's a fine guy like him doing here without a lady on his arm? Well, I hear that the lady he'd like to have on his arm is spoken for. Surprise. Stop. Kelvin, you're such a gossip. Where do you get all your information? Over the back fence? I wasn't the one who said it first. Oh. Helen. Do you remember uh, my wife, Star? I certainly do. Hi, thank you. Oh, you. If you want all the latest gossip, listen to this one. Oh, you. <laughs> well, did you get a chance to tell Star about the beautiful young lady? I completely overlooked it. <laughs> nice digs. Absolutely.
absolutely breathtaking. Yes, I do, don't I? <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear you say it. A minute ago, you were comparing yourself to the old and the ugly. Right now, I'd say you're more the bad and the beautiful. <laughs> and isn't this wonderful? Yes, it's lovely, really, dear. And the gifts just keep on coming. Very princely of him, I'm sure. I think it means that Skye really loves me. Yeah. I wouldn't take his gifts as proof of that if I were you. Get rid of the idea that your happiness is going to depend on Scarlett's lavishness. Raven, I'm hoping this marriage will be based on mutual love, not mutual funds. Oh, huh. it will be. Hmm? Now, Raven, stop playing with that bauble and listen to me just for a minute. Love, real love, is based on sharing, caring about someone. Totally. It has nothing at all to do with possessions or pride of material things. That's called avarice. I know that. And I've been thinking that myself. So you see, I'm not so bad after all. <laughs> no, you're not. You're just greedy, like a child in a candy shop. Yes, I am. And I... I wish you were my mother. Maybe I would have been different. I don't think that's likely. After all, Nadine was a saint. Just look what happened. <laughs> Raven, I'm sorry about the lecture. I just want you to be happy for all the right reasons. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought it took me so long. Here you go. The final touch. Yes, now you are quite complete and beautiful. Boy, is there a commotion going on downstairs? Why? Oh, well, someone just made this exquisite entrance. <laughs> oh, really? And who was that? Uh, Martine Duvall. <sighs> what? But I, uh, she refused the invitation. Well, obviously she changed her mind, and, uh, well, she's getting all the attention down there. Everything's short of a standing ovation. <laughs> Why, that? Oh! How dare she? How dare she do this to me? This is my day! And this is my house. And I will not go downstairs until she is out of my house. Now, Raymond, stop this. If you had objections to Martine Duval, you should have made them before this. After all, she did receive an invitation. I don't care. I wasn't the one that invited her, and I certainly didn't expect her to accept it. Now, Raven, please, just pull yourself together and enjoy this day, please. Now, it's almost time. I'm going downstairs to start the proceedings. And please, remember, in just a few minutes now, you're going to become Mrs. Skylar Whitney. Well, she's right, you know. So why don't you just cool down hmm? and stop frowning? It's going to ruin your makeup.
beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God that is therefore not to be entered to unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. I require and charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as a foundation of a happy and enduring home. No other human ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those that you now assume. Skylar Whitney, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? Love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself unto her so long as you both shall live. I will. Raven Alexander, will you have this man to be your wedded husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live? I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Join hands and repeat after me. I, Skyler, take you, Raven. I, Skyler, take you, Raven. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge unto you my faith. And thereto I pledge unto you my faith. I, Raven, take you, Skyler. I, Raven, take you, Skyler. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge unto you my faith. the ring on her finger and repeat after me. In token and pledge of the vow between us now. In token and pledge of the vow between us now. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. By the authority vested in me as minister according to the ordinance of God and the law of the state, I now pronounce you man and wife, whom therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and in the life everlasting. Amen.
Where did you get this? 